Bob Pockers, Fox Sports. So you bowed some with Chandler Smith. He was in must win. He had some drama there during the race and afterward. And he's in a position that you're not foreign to, right? Where you're racing for your job and you don't know what's next. I'm curious, what do you talk with him much through your role and what have you advised him? Uh, can you enlighten me on the, the drama? Well, I, I well, didn't see anything. So, um, he was up to, I think, third. He picks the outside. Cole picks the outside, and Cole uh, does a bump and run on him, mm. which kind of hurt his momentum. And then he gets out of the car afterwards and goes over to Cole and slaps him. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. Um, do you think? Do you think? Do you think that was payback from Kansas? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, yes. Right. I mean, they talked about it at Kansas, uh, and they were both pretty mad at each other. Cole was very mad at, at Chandler, so. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't talked to Chandler, so I can't advise him on anything because I haven't talked to him. I got out of the race car and we celebrated in victory lane, and now I'm here talking to you guys. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I <laughs> I raced my almost my entire career on a one year contract, right? So every year, by the time you get to September, October, you're starting to stress out a little bit because you don't know what's going to happen next. Um, you know, thankfully for most of my career, I kind of had it sorted out by August, September. Um, I never had to really wait this late in the game to, to know what was next. Um, but I can only imagine how stressful that is because, I mean, even for me, you know, all those years trying to work through May, June, July, starting to put the pieces of the puzzle together, the sponsorship together, you know, having the conversations about contracts, all those things, they're a distraction. They are, they're stressful, they're a distraction. And, you know, you have to keep in mind, this is, this is not only what we do, right? Like we love to drive race cars, but it's also the way we provide for our family. You know, for for me, this is this has been the way that I've provided for my family my entire you know their entire lives, um, and, and so and it's a great way to provide for your family. But there's always the chance that it's going to end, you know, at at the end of the year, and and it's hard right now. It's hard to come up with money. It's hard um, to just do it on talent alone. Um, and Chandler is a great race car driver. He is he is a talented race car driver, um, and I am I am. I'm rooting for him that he gets something figured out um, and has an opportunity next year.